One of the greatest things that we can do to turn around our lives is to give thanks. Most people are living in critical mind. They go through the days criticizing little things and big things, not even realizing what they're doing. And then at the end of the day, they're exhausted. At the end of the week, they're ready to lay down and just take a long 10-hour nap. Well, you know, if you follow us, that I believe in the Gratitude to God calendar. And you can make your own. It is just simply to write down every day five or six things that you are thankful for, and then to review that and to give thanks often. For some, it has been a time of criticizing. It has been a time of of looking for what is wrong in their life. Well, now is the time to look for what is right and to give thanks to God for that and to realize in a big way how blessed you are for everything that is happening in your life. You know what it is? It's a matter of focus. For you to realize that God is working in your life, in your behalf, it changes everything. You have a sense constantly of a nearness of God's presence and the power of God's love the eternalness of God's help. This is a time to realize again your special blessings from God and to focus on this and to bring this to the forefront of your mind. This is a time of thankfulness and a time to pour out our thanks to God for all the ways in which we have been blessed and for all the good that is yet to be. It's one of the magical things that Jesus did. When he prayed, he gave thanks in advance because he prayed in expectation. Now, you know I'm going to talk about prayer on our next cruise. And prayer, if you were to change the word prayer, I would want you to change it to expectation. When you're praying, what are you expecting? Because you tend to bring that about in your life. So many people expect the worst and are expecting God to lift them out of their problem. Well, sometimes that happens. That's called grace. But when you pray right, in the beginning, in expectation of the good, in thankfulness of what is coming, then you have a great power in your life. Let us remember today to express our thanks and to live in that wonderful realm of thankfulness, realizing our good. In Ephesians 5, 20, it says, Always and for everything give thanks in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to God our Father.